but we've just got off the bus in Anjangwe. We're just walking to the hotel and it's it's hard to breathe here. It was um, like three and a half hour the bus. We went with Xena bus from Mexico City, Pony and Tear bus station, and it cost around 250 pesos. So. Yeah, the bus is just full of gringos. Like, certain few people would not leave us alone, trying to latch onto us. What did he say? <laughs> which which butter are you going to? Yes, which butter? Butterfly Century I'm going to. I said I don't know. What about you? He says, whichever one you're going to. <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> so just the town in itself is really, really beautiful. We're here for two nights. So I think we're going to visit two different sanctuaries. So we'll show you what they're like and how, how easy it is, what not. So this is the hotel room in the Hotel Hardine. Nice little window. It's hot today. Bathroom check. This wall looks nice. What's upstairs? A bed? Two more beds. It's nicer down here, yeah. I think we'll only use this bed. And then out here, there's like the, um, what would you call this over here? It's gone from here, I don't know what you call it, but yeah. All these paintings are there. The one of the hotel's dads that he's painted. It's really nice. I think it's like 600 pesos an hour, which in this town you can't find cheaper, so it's nice. Today we're going to go to El Rosario Monarca Reserve, which is the most popular and the easiest to get to. You can just get a combi there and back. But tomorrow we're going to Sierra Cinqua. And I don't know how we're going to do it. We'll work it out tomorrow. Just got off the bus, it was 40 pesos each to like the base of the trailhead for the, the reserve. And we're just gonna get a couple of quesadillas. We've come quite late in the afternoon, it's warm. I think usually people come like, like late morning, but we'll see what it's like in the afternoon. There's loads of gift shops, places to eat. It's not that expensive, it's 25 pesos a quesadilla. It's not bad. Spicy. <laughs> it looks hot. Dot red. We're just setting off now on the walk up. It's half one in the afternoon. The guy said like a 45 minute walk, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we get out of breath after 15 steps. So. Also, when you. Yeah, they tried to send us the horse, but we're going to get a horse to the reserve tomorrow. So when you come in there, actually if you want a guide, but we just bend it up, I think it'll be easy enough to walk up. <sighs> I'm knackered. So we're only like 10 minutes in. I don't know if you see on the camera, but there's already, there's loads of butterflies, like the most I've ever seen flying around. And we're at the beginning. But obviously the signs are worth saying, be silent because the butterflies don't like noise and it scares them away. You've got people coming up shouting on the phone, screaming, just being absolute nuisances, which is irritating. We have to have them on. <laughs> it is irritating though, isn't it? Like the signs saying do not <laughs> like everywhere, but people care more about themselves, don't they? Selfies. And the pictures. <laughs> People. It's not that tiring though. If we have if you have constant little breaks and drinks and snacks. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> at the 200 meter mark. And it's honestly not even been a bad walk at all. No, it's been okay. We have to take it slow though. We've done it quite quick. Compared to what I read, everyone made out like it was death. We have to do some death walks. Oh, it took us like 40 minutes. I was expecting it to be like 
<laughs> so he said they said an hour, but it's taken us like 45 minutes, and we're not very fit. No, we're not fit. <laughs> and in typical fashion, the sun's peeped behind the clouds now. Let's hope it comes back out. There was a lot more butterflies low down when it was really sunny, and we'll see. It's look like you. You can look at the weather before you come, but then because it's so high up in the mountains, it's not it's reliable, it just changes. <laughs> We've been like looking at the weather every day for the past two weeks. Well, it just, it just changes. It's a nice walk. Either 80 way, pesos, I think. 80 pesos, yeah, thanks, Jerry. People need to learn what that word means. <laughs> and not be ignorant at all. So we're at the top now and the sun's come back out. There is quite a few butterflies. to go because it's, it's really hot and there's like just a handful of people here so it's really peaceful so this is the main little as I call it, little square in and Hangwil with the churches there's like a cross on the top of the hill you can walk to I think it's only that on off that walk but we don't have time so on the way home the bus never came, the combi never came the 5 o'clock combi so we were just sat outside the peach man's shop the fruit man and then then someone came past in a truck and they bailed us out and they, they said, get in my friends. So we were like, yes, we've got a ride, yeah. And then, and then we got out here and then... Um, Ellis is like, what, would you like anything? Like, and she said, cash. 150 pesos. 150 pesos. And I was like, oh my God, I thought she was going to say like 20. Same, but at least we got home. I thought we were just going to be stuck there all night. Because you can't get a taxi from there. Unless you've brought the taxi to there. So we need to go for some tea. It's well in there. The mining town. It's a common theme, all the mining towns look really nice. It's right in the mountains. There's another cross up there. I think the doctor met before, I think he said that one's two hour walk. So we're not going to be doing that. We've already done enough walking. When we got back down, our legs were shaking because after walking down all the steps and slipping in the mud. It's really picturesque here though. Yeah, if you're going to come, stay a few nights, don't just come for the day trip. It's worth staying in it. So tomorrow we do it all again, but to the Sierra Cinque. So we'll see. So Michoacan is the avocado capital of Mexico. It's where, where most of them come from. And recently they're very expensive. Everywhere. Same with limes. So hopefully they're going to taste good here. That was a, what was that on about? What am I talking about? Yeah, the streets are really nice here. It's a Monday, so it's quiet. So if you're gonna come, I'd recommend actually coming midweek to any of the sanctuaries because today we literally have it to ourselves near enough. <laughs> I don't know what he wanted. Shoot me up there. Taxi. <laughs> so there's actually another cross right on the top of that hill. So there's three in this town if you fancy walking or if you have more time we're just on the way to get some food because we saw a little spot there's not many places to eat during the night i don't think oh in the day there's loads of streets that's about all kinds of things going on but there's a taco stand next to our hotel but it doesn't look that good it's all like pre-cooked meat not like fresh it looks like a belly <laughs>
So I think it's like a truck that takes people to work. I don't know how much truck. it costs. It's quite comfy though. They yeah, made us a little seat. Yeah. She made us a she gave us a tire chair. The best chair, yeah. it's the only chair. So we've just got here at nine o'clock and it's a beautiful day today. That Caminetta truck cost us 25 pesos each. These dogs are a nuisance. So we're just waiting for everyone to actually get here because all the staff aren't even here. So they're gonna get the, when they get here and open up the breakfast places, we'll have some breakfast and then, and then head up. I think we're gonna go up on a horse at this one just because why not? <laughs> Mama's there. This is the dog that was in poo. So we've got a couple of quesadillas each. We've got flor de calabaza, which is like a like a special Mexican flour. Oh, look at that. And the chorizo, you can see the chorizo I've got, yeah. This one's interesting. In the truck we saw the they had like a bucket full of the, the petals, so we thought we'd get one. I've never been on a horse before. Scary. So scary. I don't My horse keeps slipping. So we've just got off on the half our horses in the horse car park. You have to walk the last bit, obviously, because it's like quiet and peaceful. At least we're petrified the entire really, time, but really it wasn't scary. I really respect people who ride horses because <laughs> I think it's petrifying. It was a bit dirty when we were going downhill. And mine was walking at like two miles an hour. People were like. But the guy, the the guy who actually brought us up on the horses was the the man who was in the passenger seat of the the truck we got to the park yeah. this morning. So he remembered us, and he was he was actually really nice, wasn't he? You got to the cowboy today. He got he got Ellis's rein off, and he was like, "Oh, he let me He's steer a good it." Horse, don't worry, Ellis was like on his own. I was there, like saying, "You are not." <laughs> so 150 pesos the horse, one way. Very tippy guy. And then we just tipped him because he was really nice. So. And it's actually really nice. It's like on a cliff edge the entire way, so there's loads of views. Really as well, yeah, we'll walk back walk. and just take it easy, won't we? So it's like another 15 minute walk from the horse car park and then this is the official viewing point and the colonies are all over there it's so beautiful it's one of them places where you just you just sit down and you could just literally do nothing just watch them for hours like you'll never be able to tell them any of on the camera but it's pretty special If you can choose between Rosario or Sierra Cinque, I'd come to the Sierra Cinque every time. There's like no one here, it's just so peaceful. It's a nicer walk. It's like a dedicated horse walk. There's like nice views the entire walk. It's a lot nicer. And everyone's friendly. This is why you should walk at least one way 
also one way walk the other way because the views are stunning and they're separate the walking track is different from the horse track so nice this walk's death the path's so dusty so you're just breathing in like all the horse dust that's been kicked into the air and i have asthma so because we came here on our own in that truck that all the workers came in this morning at half eight we have no way of getting home unless we wait till five for the truck that comes again to take everyone back to town so we can either you can either walk to the main road and hitchhike and ask for a lift or just ask someone in the car park or one of the horsemen has offered us um, a lift back for 200 pesos which we don't mind it's not that much and it it helps him out so we're gonna do that it's only a 20 minute drive So that's that from An Anhangueo, completed it. It's definitely a town that warrants more than a day trip. Don't do a day trip from Mexico City and really come for a few days. Well worth it. Ow. Just having some tacos to round it off. So we'll actually call it a do now, but we've got some beers to make some micheladas in the room. And I forgot to say before that, the trailhead of today's walk was 3,300 meters altitude and the top of the water was 3,600. I didn't think it was that high, but it's high. So I'll be fit.